What's going on guys? I wanted to take this opportunity to talk a little bit about my new single that's coming out on August 5th, which is uh, next Friday actually, and it's available in a physical CD format, as well as a variety of digital stores like iTunes, Napster, Amazon MP3, uh, a couple other different digital music retailers. It's on MJM Music, and I uh, just wanted to talk about the CD, kind of show what it looks like, what it is and exactly how you can get it. Uh, obviously, if you're watching this video, I'm going to extend a pre-order offer that's been going on for a little bit. So if you guys want to get the disc before the general public, you can. Actually, pre-orders are pretty much shipping now. I got about 250 copies that I could do for uh, pre-orders only, and half of them are already gone, which is amazing. But uh, I actually have to mail them myself for the pre-order program, so a uh, little bit more than I expected so I gotta go buy a ton of bubble mailers but regardless I uh, just kinda want to talk a little bit about the disc, a little bit about the story, the song, the cover art and stuff like that and uh, extend that pre-order offer to you guys so you guys can get it before the general public and obviously uh, what you see here is the single itself I got a couple copies laying around here that uh, I was just you know being paranoid and wanted to make sure I could do a quality check and make sure there were no issues with it in the front cover here Obviously, I'm the Logic on the front. That's my uh, alias and Goodbye, uh, the name of the single. It's got two tracks on it. Uh, it's got the original mix, which has vocals on it for me, as well as the second track is the instrumental mix. You know, the song is, uh, it was really fun writing. It was just one of those songs where I started putting stuff together and it just started flowing. The, the music was flowing. I did a lot of variety of different instruments on this from xylophone to wind chimes as well as a variety of different drums and effects and uh, if I had to compare it to anybody uh, electronic artist wise I probably have to say a little bit of way out west and shy cane uh, also it, it's got uh, almost an 80s feel with it kind of midway through in the breakdown so uh, there's a lot of influences in my music and this really shows but uh, it was really a fun track to write and by the time I was done with the music, the, the vocals just came out of nowhere and they just started flowing out of my head. So it's one of those tracks that, you know, you listen to the first one, the vocals have a really good message, a realistic message, really. And the second one, if uh, you're not into the vocals or you just want to kind of enjoy the music, the option's there. So that's kind of why I decided to do a full lyrical version and then an instrumental for those people who really want to listen to all the different instruments that I added in this. And uh, essentially what the song is actually about is, uh, you know, how many chances or how many offers have you given to a certain someone and they just kind of ignore it and uh, they don't take the opportunities that you've given to them and they, they just kind of, you know, disappear from your life. And that's kind of the, uh, the emphasis on goodbye. So it's, uh, you know, it's a song with a meaning. It, it tells a story, which I always try to do with my music. And uh, that's kind of the basis on that. But what you're seeing here is the front cover. Uh, I'm not a graphic artist by any means, but I always try to make my covers at least interesting if I happen to be doing them myself. And if they don't work out very well, I uh, end up getting someone professional to do it, which I've done for my last few albums. And uh, this time, uh, this one just kind of came over me. You know, the, the title's obviously Goodbye. And how many times have you seen in movies or even in real life you know people leave like uh, the goodbye notes or goodbye cards or whatever when they're disappearing from your life and uh, I was kind of thinking about that so I just printed a really basic piece of paper and uh, I was thinking about it and I was looking at the font and I was like god I don't want this to be so generic that it looks weird and what I ended up doing was using a, uh, a blue light actually and uh, the kitchen sink uh, which miraculously was super clean for once and uh, I dropped the piece of paper in there and turned the faucet on and the way uh, inkjet just kind of hits paper that's got inkjet ink on there is just very very interesting how the ink just de degrades and that was kind of the uh, the emphasis on the front here it's almost like a picture of a picture and uh, it's basically a goodbye note being faded away by water and you open it up in the inside here and uh, you know you have your standard, you have your disc of course on one side, and uh, you have the actual uh, insert here that's got the full lyrics on here. It's got the the titles for the different mixes and everything. It's got the full lyrics, which is cool. And then you got of course the disc itself. And uh, again, kind of going with the drain theme there, or things kind of just you know, uh, you know, 
friendship or whatever going down the drain. Uh, same kind of deal here, the water's flowing on this. And then on the back here, you're actually looking at a drain. It just kind of, it fits perfect for the CD because the drain hole is literally the open gap for the CD. So it's kind of neat there. But, uh, you know, I was asked how exactly I wanted to do the physical CD. And I'm not a huge fan of DigiPacks just because it doesn't have the side art on there that uh, easily displays what the actual name of the CD and stuff is. But, you know, cost-wise and the fact that it was, uh, you know, just a two-track single, I didn't want to go too extreme with it because I didn't want to raise the cost of it too much. And uh, I just decided to go with the DigiPack and I think it worked out very, very nicely. Uh, Price-wise, if you're wondering how much it's going to run you, uh, right now it's pretty much five bucks for the CD and about 250 for most parts of the world in the US. About Canada it's 250. Certain states are 350. It's uh, generated shipping. I really don't know how it works in that instance, but you know two to three bucks for shipping. And some people may think that's a little high for a two track single and I understand that. Uh, what I actually ended up doing was uh, if you buy the single from uh, the website that I'll put on the top here or the bottom and the URL probably uh, video description as well. Um, when you buy the CD you get access to four on release on Let It Logic tracks and uh, one of those happens to be if you're familiar with my gaming stuff uh, if you're watching this you probably watched either some of my music videos or you watched a load of my gaming video gaming stuff uh, I did a remix of Streets of Rage 2 Go Straight and it turned out really nice and I put it up on YouTube and wasn't really sure what I was going to do with it uh, I actually was going to put it on my full album Rough Groove Surface and I couldn't get permission from uh, the original artist and the label to let me put it on that CD uh, but I'm free to do with it in any free way that uh, I can so basically it's included as a free gift in that so if you've heard my Streets of Rage 2 remix that's on there. Uh, Them and Me and You which was never officially released is on there. There's a couple other, there's two other remixes on there uh, so it's kind of a you know you buy the CD, you buy the physical CD and you get four tracks for free which is kind of nice. So I figured I'd throw that in there and just make it a little uh, more enjoyable for people so they don't feel like they're paying too much for two tracks even though I'm worth it. Um, and yeah, if uh, you're not interested in a physical CD, again, this is going to be popping up everywhere in terms of digital music retailers. It's going to be on Amazon, it's going to be on iTunes, it's going to be in Amster, uh, a couple other different places. And the release for it, I'm hopefully everything will be all lined up by uh, August 5th. But of course, you're going to see it on iTunes first, then Amazon and some of the other sites. Uh, a lot of people like Amazon because their DRM isn't too bad. And uh, you know, iTunes is iTunes, but uh, that's the preferred vendor. And I think pricing wise for iTunes stuff, you're looking at 99 cents a track. So if you like uh, your MP3s and that's what you're looking for, you can get the whole thing for buck 99, which isn't too bad. But uh, I'm very excited about it. I, I think it's, uh, it's a great single and I'm hoping it really sells a decent number of copies. You know, the Freedom EP did very, very well when I was on something else music. Uh, I'm hoping Goodbye does uh, pretty decently because it's really going to have a deciding factor on uh, when and how Rough Groove Surface is going to get released, the full album. So that's, uh, that's pretty much it, guys. I just want to talk about my single a little bit and kind of show you some of the details of it. So that's all for now. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.